Hello, hello, Mordimers here and welcome to one more game of round three of Candidates Tournament 2020, the most important tournament this year. Um, and this is the picture from the game I would like to show you. So a very nice handshake. And as you see, uh, there is no any unnecessary and strength gymnastic moves needed. Uh, so uh, players just uh, handshake. And uh, Fabiano Caruana, Italian-American uh, player, he's ranking 20. 842 and he is actually number two in the world and he play as black and his opponent Ding Liren number three in the world so uh, he's ranking 20 805 he's from China and both of players are 27 years old officially in the regular format games uh, 10 games and two of them were won by, Car by Caruana, two of them were won by Ding Liren and we had the six draws. Uh, so that's what we know. And now there is a slightly different situation because Ding Liren lost two games in this tournament, two first games. So he has zero points out of two. A very unusual situation for Ding Liren and he has actually no choice. He has to win um, this game if he still want to be in the tournament and you know try to win this tournament. Fabiano Caruana one and a half points so he has one win one draw. A very comfortable situation so without further ado let's see what happened on the board. Ding Liren open with d4. We have d5, c4, c6. Six. Slav defense and Ding Liren said, you know, after the game that for the moment he told, okay, let's just go for exchange and sign a draw and I'm gonna be fine. And then he started to think like, no, I have to win this game. So I, I go, you know, all in and I'm gonna win or lose this game. Uh, he play knight on f3, knight f6, knight c3 and now d takes on c4. Uh, and here we have e4 so preventing b5 it's all of course the theory we have bishop f5 by caruana and here e3 is the most popular and solid move uh, however if you want to play sharp you have to play knight on e5 that's what ding liren played we have e6 and here f3 bishop on b4 by caruana so pinning the knight and now uh, e4 uh, is very well known uh, variation where black actually play uh, sacrifice the piece b takes on e4 f takes on e4 knight takes on e4 uh, and after bishop on d2 uh, queen takes on d4 uh, very interesting variation and it's played many many times uh, i have at least 600 games in database believe me or not uh, how to play that then for example knight on e4 queen on e4 and now queen on e2 bishop takes on d2 uh, king takes on d2 now queen d5 king c2 knight a6 uh, knight c4 and black has you know, compensation for, for sacrifice uh, piece it has uh, uh, three extra pawns and uh, pretty nice, uh, you know, um, pawn structure. So it's still playable and it was played many times and it doesn't look like white gonna win here easily. 50% uh, of the games uh, end up with the draw and uh, but it's of course slightly better for white. Uh, but Ding Liren didn't want to go for this line. Uh, he played knight on c4. So more sharp line. We have castle here and Ding Liren play king on f2. Uh, moving the king to the safety, also preparing e4. And believe me or not, but Fabiano Caruana play a total novelty here. He play e5. This move was never played on the top level uh, and I don't know in, in any other. Uh, this looks like like totally crazy sacrificing the pawn on e5 and then Fabiano Caruana just uh, left the chessboard and start to walk around and give Ding Liren you know the time to um, to think what to do uh, because so far Fabiano Caruana didn't spend even a single minute for his move so he's definitely well prepared for this line and this was totally new for Ding Liren. Uh, 
He of course can go for something safe, like d takes on e5, uh, and uh, knight have to move, so knight f on d7, and then e4, uh, kicking the bishop, bishop e6, g3, playing something against this unpleasant uh, queen h4 move, uh, queen e7, king g2, um, and now bishop c4, bishop c4, and then knight can uh, take the e5 pawn. Uh, bishop e2 because bishop was under attack and that position would be uh, pretty drawish with the very well known structure of pawns 4 against 3 and 3 against 2 with one open file uh, very difficult to you know win the game like this this is why after 15 minutes of thinking Ding Liren play knight on e5 uh, so he play very very risky and now bishop on c2 so another interesting move by fabiano caruana now of course uh, ding liren can take this this bishop and after taking just equalize the game uh, queen on d4 with check e3 queen on e5 and this this is just equal so uh, nothing special uh, this is why here we have queen on d2 and ding liren say okay what you have here the problem is ding liren already spent uh, you know 30 minutes of his time so uh, he has to be uh, quite careful uh, we have c5 by Fabiano Caruana and then after uh, another 15 minutes Ding Liren play d5 uh, he can play e3, uh, he can play d takes on c5, but he go for the most uh, interesting uh, variation d5. d5, uh, he creates the passed pawn, uh, and if he can play e4 and then consolidate the position somehow, then he gonna be uh, pawn up and that's gonna be a very comfortable game for him. Here Fabiano Caruana played bishop on b3, but actually he had a very interesting move, bishop on e4. And white can take um, on e4 because knight on e4 with check, knight e4, and then uh, that is the problem with the queen. So knight on d2 and now queen d4 with check, g3, queen d4 and winning this knight and of course the game so king g2 queen e5 and two minor pieces uh, for the queen of course enough to win the game this is why after bishop on e4 white would have to play g4 very difficult uh, move to find but if white find this move the game become extremely complicated there are a lot of lines here and very interesting lines so i will just show you uh, one of the craziest Rook on e8 attacking the knight and then knight on f7 sacrifice king f7 and now g5 so now this bishop is under attack knight g4 so something like you know tal kind of move where everything is hanging and white don't know what to do and interesting that uh, taking the bishop or taking the knight losing the game so a king on g3 bishop takes on c3 and the game could continue with the slight advantage of white but only if they play the perfect move so very very crazy stuff what to play here this is very insane uh, line but i would like to show you that uh, this bishop on e4 uh, very interesting very complicated i'm surprised that caruana didn't didn't play this one but he blitz again bishop on b3 also very strong move and now we have e4 so white created this pawn structure very strong very solid and black have to have something against that if they want to stay in the game. And indeed, Caruana have. Rook on e8 uh, again played very immediately. And now the knight is under attack. And knight on d3 is actually unplayable because rook on e4 very very insane f takes on e4 it's impossible because knight on e4 trick attacking the queen attacking the king knight on e4 and again the queen is hanging so knight on d2 and um, two minor pieces for the queen of course black stands much better so after rook on e8 ding liren taught for a while and he found again absolutely the best move queen on f4 uh, and what to play now as black how to continue the attack you are pawned down 
and you have to play something and it's really really not easy so uh, this knight is on e5 so how about c4 this is what caruana played and now this bishop can go to d6 this is the threat so the knight could be pinned and of course won by black and white has to do something about that so actually this is the pawn sacrifice and white can just you know take bishop on c4 uh, because after bishop on d6 situation would be totally crazy look at this this is hanging this is hanging this is twice under attack what to do the only move for white would be queen on e3 knight b on d7 exchanging the knights and then queen on e2 or maybe it's also possible to exchange the pieces but the problem is this bishop actually can uh, can win the queen a very complicated line it's also possible to play uh, but more safe would be probably queen on e2 a bishop on c5 king f1 um, bishop on c4 queen on c4 and very complicated game uh, white of course have two extra pawns but queen h4 is coming a uh, very annoying move then f5 is coming and this king can be can be very vulnerable here especially with the with the bishop watching at this diagonal uh, so knight on c4 was played by dick um, safer approach uh, but it's still very very complicated we have knight b on d7 by caruana bishop on e3 very important move placing the bishop in front of king because this diagonal can be very very vulnerable and now very silent move knight on f8 with the threat knight g6 and then attack on the queen and the queen don't have many moves to do so white have to be very careful ding and after a while found the move bishop on d4 uh, so making a space for the queen to retreat here or maybe here uh, and now knight on g6 as planned and here um, Ding Liren thought for a while and if we ask our silicon friend uh, what to do now then queen on c1 is the best move but totally it looks like a very unnatural move but it looks like this is the best but the lines are so complicated so I just show you, watch at this, knight on e4 and now white has to decide what to do. Knight on e4, it actually doesn't really work uh, because now queen on d5 attacking the bishop, bishop on e3 retreating, but now rook a on c8 attacking this knight for the third time and only two defenders so far so knight, knight e on d2 but it actually doesn't work uh, bishop on c4 bishop on c4 and now bishop on d2 with attack on the queen and on the bishop on e3 pretty cra crazy stuff so white has to decide something so for example queen on d2 is possible but much better is bishop takes on d5 now bishop on e3 with check queen on e3 and it looks like you know whites are fine uh, but now rook on c2 king on g3 and now rook on e3 and this position is uh, probably a draw because the pawn structures are symmetrical and um, very difficult now to win uh, however after knight on e4 white could play f takes on e4 but it's also a lot of calculations here so for example rook on c8 placing the rook uh, on the open file and on the same file with the with the queen so uh, knight is under attack attack twice so uh, and defended only once so white have to do something knight on d2 and now bishop takes on d5 pretty crazy line because e takes on d5 doesn't work it's actually losing the game because queen on h4 is coming g3 queen on d4 with check and black is just winning very easy win here so after bishop on d5 white would have to play queen on d1 uh, and then bishop on c6 uh, moving retreating with the queen bishop on e3 
and this position would be totally crazy totally mess up white are up the piece but the king is again very very vulnerable here so i'm not sure if ding liren wanted to play this position i think uh, he felt that this pawn structure can be a very very big strength for him so he opted for for that variation this is why he play queen on f5 the queen is actually slightly misplaced here, don't have a lot of moves uh, and it's gonna be difficult to bring the queen to the game. And you will see. And Fabiano Caruana uh, still blitzing the move, so he is definitely prepared. He play bishop on c4, we have bishop takes on c4, and now queen on c7, attacking the bishop with tempo, so bishop on e2, we have bishop on c5 now, uh, so challenging the bishop, this bishop is very powerful on this diagonal, so it's very important to just exchange the dark square bishops um, and then black can you know play on these dark squares which not gonna be controlled by the by the dark square bishop we have bishop takes on c5 by ding liren and here caruana started to think first time uh you know for the 15 minutes and after 15 minutes uh he came with the move queen on c5 uh, but actually after we analyze the game he could go for rook on e5 this would be very 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 interesting uh, continuation because white has to do something with the queen so queen on h3 knight f4 attack on the queen queen can go on h4 queen can go on g3 uh, so let's check queen h4 and now we would have g5 uh, and then queen don't have much space to go now if queen on h6 uh, that's not really great because queen on c5 with check king f1 and now knight c on d5 that's a crazy crazy chess uh, e takes on d5 queen on e3 and now black gonna uh, get back the material because this uh, bishop is uh, impossible to defend uh, so for example rook on e1 just just doesn't work because rook on e1 actually knight on d3 and checkmate is coming so that's not an option and also if attacking the 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 knight then we would have checkmate on e1 so uh not an option here knight on d1 and um, defending and also attacking the queen but now queen on d2 with the um, attack on the rook so <laughs> still you know impossible to defend this uh, g3 queen queen on e1 and of course it's winning for black so definitely not the way to play after queen on e3 uh, some crazy line like h4 have to be played and it's very very complicated and black definitely has some attack so uh, queen on h6 not really great as move but a queen on g3 is also not easy to play uh, for white uh, knights from the sixth rank to h5 with attack on the queen and now if queen on g4 the only square you know available for the queen then queen on c5 with check king f1 and now this queen will never come from from there to to the game so uh, it can't just come here uh, so this is why it's important to keep the queen uh, on the light squares here uh, and now queen could come to the game with you know move the queen on d7 but then rook d8 and white queen is stuck here g3 uh, doesn't work because uh, knight on f6 attack on the queen and queen is trapped and white would lose the queen so it's very difficult to find the, the move for, for white. Actually, the, the best move for white is rook on g1, recommended by the engine. But, uh, you know, the position of white would be pathetic here. Uh, this is why in this position, um, only bishop on d4 would have to be played. So queen would have to be sacrificed. Knight on g3 h takes on g3 and knight on e2 and now king on e2 uh, rook actually um, can be exchanged uh, for, for the bishop this bishop is quite um, quite dangerous here 
but uh, if black want to you know preserve the the rook then rook on e8 uh, and now rook h5 f6 defending um, rook a on h1 and the game could continue and it's very possible that Ding Liren could, you know, uh, have the problems with finding um, this all the moves uh, because he has only 15 minutes on the clock and still he has to make 20 moves to time control. Totally incredible stuff because Caruana spent only 15 minutes and still have one hour and 30 minutes on his clock. That's incredible. Uh, however, he didn't go for these complicated lines. He played queen on c5 with check. So king on f1. And now here is the point. This is the last chance for Caruana to, uh, you know, attack. This is his last chance. He is down two pawns and he has to do something, especially Ding Liren has this powerful uh, pawn chain. So the only way for Caruana to continue the attack is Rook on e5, it's still possible, however the lines um, deviate uh, somehow here. Not all the lines are possible because now queen can go to h3, g3, f2 and you know challenge the queen. So uh, that would be impossible. But after queen on h3, black actually can first move queen on b4, attack the b2 pawn. And after a rook on b1, only now knight on f4, attacking the queen, queen g3 as planned. But now knight 6 on to h5, attacking the queen, queen f5. And yes, a queen just escaped, but now f5. And that could be crushing for white. Very difficult to defend. And if we see this line in the game, that could be maybe even, you know, the best game of 2020. Incredible. Okay, I will just show you uh, shortly. G3 is impossible to play because now uh, black actually don't need to care about this knight. F takes on E4, G takes on F4 and now knight takes on F4. And F takes on E4 just doesn't work because Rook would come to F8. And look at this. This is insane. So um, definitely very hard situation here. After F5, G3 is impossible. And believe me or not, but the only move for white would be Rook on D1. So leaving this pawn uh, for black to take it. So queen on b2 and now queen on d4 activating the queen. Uh, and now knight on e2, knight on e2, exchanging the queens, playing rook on d4 and the position is equal again, but white could have um, the chances to win. Maybe they have slightly advantage because of this, um, of this pawn, uh, but if the pawn can be, you know, stopped, then uh, black have uh, advantage on the, on the queen side. So it could be very, very sharp, very interesting game. However, for whatever reason Caruana didn't think at all and he play h6 he just spent a couple of seconds and he play h6 and this actually gives uh, Ding Liren chance to consolidate and he just play rook on d1 and that's uh, changed the game completely now queen on b6 is already too late of course, attacking the b2, but b2 can be now uh, faced with rook on d2. And now rook don't need to stay on b1. Um, it's actually, you know, very comfortable, very active square on d2. And even queen on e3 was played by Caruana, rook on c2, and everything is fine with the position. Black have no chances to attack now. So a6, that was what play by Caruana. We have queen on h3 with the plan, of course, g3. And now queen can come to g2, f2, uh, king move to g2. And, uh, and that's all. That's the plan. And uh, once white consolidate all the pieces and... Uh, and there is no way for, for black to win because uh, extra two pawns 
such a strong pawns in the center it's of course it's very difficult and unplayable for black a caruana try he play b5 we have queen on g3 as planned we have b4 attack uh, on the knight so knight d1 queen b3 now attacking the rook and attack attacking a4 pawn we have rook on d2 and now caruana win um, the pawn on a4 so he creates some uh, advantage on the queen side but it's definitely not enough we have queen on f2 as planned and now g3 is coming queen on g2 is coming uh, so caruana play queen on d7 so now g3 gonna be met with uh, queen on h3 that was played in the game and of course now not queen on g2 because a uh, queen you know <laughs> would be very sad queen on g2 so first um king on g1 now a5 and now queen on d4 centralizing the queen and maybe more important now um, f2 uh, is available for the knight so the queen can be kicked and the king can be moved to g2 so that's the plan we have knight on h5 so uh, caruana tried to play something against that we have knight on f2 as planned queen on d7 and now f4 so um, the position of white is already consolidated now f5 is coming e5 is coming then d6 is coming uh and black can do nothing uh, so caruana just sacrifice uh, the knight uh, knight h on f4 and after g takes on f4 knight takes on f4 um so now he's down the piece and uh, he's still trying you know to play and find his chances we have king on f1 queen on d6 and rook on g1 by ding liren so now ding liren create the threat checkmate of course is a serious threat so f6 we have bishop on b5 so developing the pieces with the threat so uh, always with tempo uh, so now bishop attacks the rook so rook have to move to e7 we have b3 stopping advancing of these uh, pawns and now rook on f8 uh, here we have rook on c2 and this is move forward. 41 so a uh, ding liren uh, had already four minutes on the clock and now uh, he get another 50 minutes so very comfortable situation and uh, he is up the piece so um, he just staring on on caruana uh, when he gonna resign the game but caruana still playing so we can see how uh, how seriously you know he play in this tournament in totally lost position he still try to the end you know to play we have knight on e6 attacking the queen of course uh, it can be taken because uh, white would lose the queen queen on e3 knight on g5 now uh, ding liren h4 kicking the knight knight on f7 and now rook on c6 very active attacking the queen uh, queen have to be moved so queen on b8 and now queen on c5 defending the bishop because bishop was attacked but also attacking the rook so very active moves only by ding liren there is no time to you know to play passive moves in this situation uh, we have queen on d8 defending the rook the problem is now white can uh, take another pawn on f6 and now two connected pass pawns are very very powerful uh, we have king on h8 so now the rook is under attack so ding liren move it to f5 uh, we have rook on c7 attacking the queen and simply bishop on c6 and look at the position of white so this is pretty solid defending each other uh, this pawn defends the pawn and the rook and the pawn is also defended um, by the knight very solid and of course a rook and queen are you know still um, available to make a moves and also queen attacking a4 this is why caruana play a4 we have b takes on a4 and now b3 creating the past pawn uh, but it's without support it's impossible to defend so we have a rook on g3 b2 uh, rook on b3 placing the rook behind the past pawn and uh, black has nothing to do here but still we have knight on d6 uh, we have rook on f8 exchanging the rooks because rook is under attack of course so exchanging the rooks queen on f8 and rook on b2 
here we have queen on f4 so trying last tricks uh, you know attacking the pawn on e4 trying to find some chances uh, but here ding liren play rook on b8 with check we have king on h7 and now queen on c2 now e5 is coming and it's very difficult actually to uh, to stop it uh, we have a rook on e7 by uh, fabiano caruana e5 with check and attack on the knight so knight have to be moved to f5 and here we have queen on e4 inviting black to uh, exchange the queens of course black um, don't want to do it but also look at this position i'm not sure if ding liren not trolling uh, fabiano caruana because now he's showing him okay look this knight can do a very nice uh, fork and win the queen but actually the knight is pinned so uh that's impossible to do uh black play queen on c1 we have king on g2 g6 so um no more pin on the knight and now we have a rook on b3 and in this position actually uh, fabiano caruana uh, resigned the game and he resigned the game because he is the piece down and uh, and also two pawns down so uh, it's impossible you know to stop all these three pawns uh, from advancing white all white have to do just exchange some pieces and that's all this is why Fabiano Caruana resigned the game. So congratulations to Ding Liren. Impressive, very, very impressive game and very impressive uh, performance after losing two games. This is performance of, you know, uh, real champion. So uh, Ding Liren still in the tournament, still in the game. And if you like this game, you know, press like and if for some reason, but I don't believe you, you don't like this game, you know, feel free to, to, to press um, unlike. And of course, if you don't want to miss any other games from Candidates Tournament 2020, press subscribe, smash the bell button and thanks for watching and see you in the next one.